right, let's continue with our goal to install Qtile on this Arclinks D virtual box. Control F is going to make everything bigger. Well, let's first have a look at um, what all the others do. So the article needs, still needs to be written, right? But it gives us a GNOME gallery installation and always the same cinnamon gallery installation, budgie installation, and so on. So anything really is going to point to the same thing. We are going to point you to a particular place and it's gonna be something similar as this one. Not exactly the same since this is BSP WM, but it always points to a URL. So I know the URL by heart. So should you, it's not that difficult. We need to clone something, to copy paste something and it's command git and to clone something. Git clone me from HTTPS github.com. Then this is the ISO of Arch Linux, but it's not the big one. It's a smaller one, the D version. Okay. And we are choosing to install Qtile. So Arco Qtile, Arco XFCE, Arco Awesome, Arco BSP WM, Arco Mate. So all these scripts come in, LS. This is a folder that we get, cd, arco qtile, ls, and this is all you need to do. Run each number. And afterwards, when you have this desktop, then you can look inside and say, okay, so this one is going to make sure that all the cores are used, fine. And you start analyzing and reading these um, scripts. And at some point you say, I don't want to install this application. Well, don't install, see what happens. And that's the only way we learn is just by trial and error. Do you want sound and music? Then you start running 110. And it will stay like this, it stay black like this until you reboot. And everything is installed. If you reboot right now, you won't see anything. So you need to continue to make sure that whatever package is required for the system you're installing, because we have 13 desktops now, and it all depends what you're installing, whether you can reboot right now or you have to wait till number 600, at least. So arrow up shows you what's the last command you had. Now, the, I, well, I can skip this one. 140 is if you want to share you, a part of your computer with somebody else. If you say, I'm never gonna do that. But I do wanna see my NAS or I wanna see my computer and other computers in my network, then I should suggest you run 150. So you're not sharing, but somebody else is sharing and you want to go to that computer. That's something else. And then, we start with lots of software. So this is probably the file number 200, where you check out, hey, do I want, well, let's have a look. Do I want variety? Yes, no. Do I want Atom? Probably, yeah, Atom is there. Do I want that? Here he is. Atom is a great uh, in, in editor. Genie was just floating by, GIMP is now installed. So if you're never gonna do a kind of Photoshop and Inkscape is kind of InDesign, if you're never gonna do that, well, don't install it. Nomax is to have some images and to manipulate images. I use it all the time for my website. Chromium, don't use Chromium, don't install Chromium. It's um, 170 megabytes. Firefox is installed, 180 megabytes and so it grows and this is what you do you wait till everything is downloaded till everything is installed and upon next installation you make your own script you use reuse our scripts put your script somewhere else why not on github so you can do the same trick as us and type git clone and then your url your place where your code is but reuse our code because a lot of time and work went into it and we keep it up to date so it's always working you can always compare with what we have uh, changed 
improved updated. I think that was Turnar. It's quickly, very quick to read. Some TTF, so fonts. Whoa, too fast. Zenity, okay. Zip stuff, and there we are. So that was 200. What's behind that? 300. When it says AOR, it means Arch User Repository. It means it's actually not Arch Linux anymore. It's a gathering of scripts and these package builds, these scripts are getting the files from anywhere on the net, not particularly from Arch Linux, but from GitHub, from Ubuntu, from Red Hat, <coughs> from Zips, anything really. And he's gonna do his, his thing with it so that we, the users, can uh, use AUR, well, use that particular package on our Arch Linux system. What is he installing now? Parted, by parted. Minstick is installed, Temps is or downloading. This is a zip file. Sometimes you see it when you, when they go down, you see DEP. DEP is Debian, RPM, Red Hat Package Manager. So sometimes you see where it's actually coming from, the source. In this case, it's just a zip. Can be anything. Just compressed, that's all you know. Vivaldi, take a look, RPM, Red Hat Package Manager, if I'm not mistaken. Those were the days working in Red Hat. Vivaldi is installing while well, compressing actually. So this is why we ran 000. At this point in time he uses all the cores. And you have eight cores, it's gonna be quicker than just one core. The codex to watch Netflix and YouTube for Vivaldi have been installed. Vala, I see there. The G Radio, some music. So these are things you can omit if you, if you say, oh, whatever, don't need it. Well, just delete the line. It's there for our fun or convenience. But if you don't want it, well, that's the point with Arch Linux D. You're in control. You put anything on there. But then again, Arch Linux B, you're in control as well. But it's another way of working. Working with an ISO. Inksy is installed. New mix icon theme. Of which I am the maintainer, by the way. At some point. Maybe something interesting for you to know. Arch user repository is managed by people, people like you, like me, people who just put in their free time, don't ask any money for it. And it's just, yeah, I don't know, community spirit where you maintain a package build for all the Arch Linux community, right? And at some point in time, what happens if somebody says, I don't want to maintain this package anymore, they can drop it and then it becomes orphaned. So sometimes you see that the package is orphaned. It means that nobody wants to maintain it anymore. And at some point in time, I think it's around already a month ago or so, these new mix uh, icons were, were orphaned. And I said, okay, I have to make them anyway for Arch Linux. They are on our system here on our ISO. So I have to make a package build anyway so it's just a copy paste for me and um, then it's maintained for the complete Arch Linux community. Um, what was I going to say about that? Oh yeah. So if you see, if you see that the new mix icons or anything really is out of date, that there are, have been updates but that the maintainer of the AUR, the Arch User Repository, is maintained by people. But these people who maintain the package build 
will not go every day have a look at the github is there an update is there an update no so you need to help all the people on AUR if there is a package update available then you can flag it out of date that's on the website aor.archlinux.org I'm guessing just google it so on the AOR websites make an account and if you see okay that package is out of date it has already been updated on um, on the github for instance for example then you can flag it out of date that was what I wanted to say so help us help me help the maintainers in general and flag it out of date These are all extra elements. Maybe you don't know that. But if you go to erdubot.be, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of information about Sardi. And at this point in time, we're installing lots of Sardi flexible variations icons Git. Sardi flexible and Sardi, etc. etc. Lots of variations. I think it's 120 icon variations, all built upon Sardi. And it's pretty interesting and neat because the icons from Sardi are SVGs. And you can always right mouse click an icon and open it with Sublime Text or Genie or Atom. And you'll, you'll see that an SVG is actually a file, a text file. You can read it, you can open it, you can delete stuff. It's not like a PNG or a GPG. You can actually type something in there. Your name, for instance, you know? So the thing is, if it's a text, you can make scripts to change the text. And that's how Sardi is built. Is the, the vision behind Sardi is, let's try to keep it as an SVG and give you the power then to run a few scripts in like say 10 seconds, 3000 icons have been changed from color. Blue, black, 16 million colors. You choose a color and run the script. So that's all explained on eric pe If you are interested in making, changing icons or making or creating icons, etc., icons are your thing, then um, that's a good thing to do. TTF Mac fonts, and here are the virtual box elements. So I definitely want to install virtual box. There we go. already 4.4 still remember the day that we had 6.0.1 or something like that the hard code fixer so this application is going to fix icons that are still using a hard coded path and there are one two three already there so these developers are actually not using the proper way to point to an icon and they're hard coding it like user share pick maps icon number one and it will never change whatever icon team you use it's always going to be user share pick map number one and that's bad but there is a fix all right 400 you see what I mean when it takes a long time to install all these things. This is actually an important one, this file. You need to run it for Qtile. There are some elements in there, I believe, that are, well, fun as well. Pywall is something fun. But the 600 is pretty important since it's all Arco Linux stuff. So all the packages coming from our repo are now installed. This is the heart, the soul of Arc Linux. This is us. And of course, Discord. This is not us, but we talk to each other on Discord. So yeah, it's us. Dropbox to share some stuff, Spotify to listen to some music while developing. And that's 600, almost there guys. You want to have some fonts, and fonts are often also for conkeys. Let's see, Roboto is still normal. 
Yeah, for the conkeys as well, installing fonts for conkeys. And then number 800, just if you want to outlook him. So I'm at home, this is my desktop, nobody's gonna break in, I assume, I hope. So whatever I'm gonna use, Eric, I'm gonna log in, make sure that Eric is in the auto login group. And now I'll auto login so I won't see this light DM blue, pink um, kind of login wallpaper. We just auto login. What else? That's 800. Did I skip something? That's also important to check. I never talked about 160 IC. TLP for laptops, this is not a laptop, right? So if you are on a laptop, see if it helps. It's for battery support and all that. Then the microcode error, this is the Intel version. There's also an AMD version. So all depends what you run. So do check out what you need. And then I wanna see always and always, I want to see the breeze snow so that the system we're on is consistent all the way. Wherever I am, I will have the blue one, the, the blue one, the white mouse. So let's reboot. 